All right, folks, so today Garmin is rolling out their fall winter 2023 software update with a bunch of new features for a bunch of new watches, including automatic nap detection, as well as new sport profiles for team sports and racket sports, and a few other things that we'll talk about in just one second. But one thing that they were kind of keeping more under wraps is skin temperature tracking on compatible watches, where you'll be able to track skin temperature changes, which you can use to track different health trends. So in terms of which devices are actually getting this specific skin temperature sensing update, these include all the current watches that have Garmin's fifth generation Elevate heart rate sensor. So these include the Venue 3, the Phoenix 7 Pro, the Epix Pro, and the Tactic 7 AMOLED. So with this new skin temperature tracking feature, there's really nothing you need to do other than just make sure that your watch is updated with the latest software. And then that's basically it. The next thing to do is just go to sleep. And what it needs here is to have three nights of successful temperature readings when you sleep. So the watch can get a baseline on your skin temperature. And then after that, you'll be able to see any deviation from your baseline, whether that's above or below. And this information is going to be available to view in your sleep details in the Garmin Connect app. So just go into your health stats, go into sleep stats, and then just scroll down past your sleep score for the sleep details, and this is where you'll see your skin temperature deviation. And as a little bonus for all of you who enrolled in the latest public beta, well, your watch has actually been silently logging this since you installed that update, but it's just that as of now, you'll now be able to see that information in Garmin Connect. Now, at the moment, there's no direct feedback that's being provided by Garmin Connect other than tracking your skin temperature variations over time, but there are uses for this information that you could derive from this data. So one way of using it is it's a possible indicator that you may be getting sick, but what I actually found to be kind of useful was how it related to my sleep environment since that can play a role in your skin temperature. And what I actually found is that it was kind of interesting to see that I saw a slight correlation to my sleep quality, and this is basically due to the fact that my sleep quality is pretty terrible when I'm sleeping in a hot or even warm room, but when the room is cooler, that promotes better sleep. And this can be said for a lot of other people as well. So like on this night here, I remember that the room temperature was pretty ideal and my sleep quality was pretty good for the most part. And then on the next night, I actually set the room temperature to be a bit too high. And all my health metrics were actually pretty similar to the day before, but my sleep quality wasn't quite as good. And I definitely felt it. So there's some other companies out there that are currently using this data for retrospective women's tracking, but that's not currently there at the moment. So it's going to be interesting to see how Garmin expands on this feature in the future. Now, what you'll notice though, is that it doesn't show an actual temperature like 98 degrees or something like that. Rather, it shows the deviation from your baseline. And that baseline is basically the last 20 days of successful temperature readings during sleep. And the reason it's not necessarily showing an actual temperature is because skin temperature can vary quite a bit due to numerous factors. So it's not like body temperature or core temperature, which stays more consistent versus something like a core body temperature sensor, which is something completely different. So other than the new skin temperature tracking feature, there's actually a lot of other new features that are coming with this 20. 23 Q4 update, including the automatic nap tracking feature, the nap widget glance, there's the new sport profiles, which I mentioned earlier, and there's also a new green shift and orange shift mode for the AMOLED watches like the Venue 3 and the Epix Pro. And again, this skin temperature sensing feature is just for the watches with the fifth generation Elevate heart rate sensor, but don't worry, they actually have a bunch of other updates for some other watches too, and I'll have that link down in the description below where you can find out exactly what features your watch will be getting. Anyhow, this is just a quick video I wanted to get out to you all to tell you about this new feature. And if you found the information in this video to be useful, do me a favor and just quickly hit that like button down below. And for more updates like this too, also go ahead and check out my Twitter or Instagram where I post updates over there as well. But in the meantime, have fun out there and we will see you in the next video.